the design is very different. <laughs> Let's just put it that mm -hmm. way, okay? Now yeah, we had seen some is. leaks. We had seen, seen some leaks before, right? So we had seen some leaks of uh, to this effect, but this is the first time we've actually seen the official render in the flesh, right? And you've got these two massive circular camera modules at the back, which you know take up more than half. Like it looks like more than half of the back of it. It seems like at least around, I'd say, you know, thirty to forty percent of the back is taken up by these cameras. Uh, there's a top camera module which has three lenses, right? So I'm assuming those are going to be the ultra wide, um, the uh, you know maybe two zoom cameras. But then we've got this massive camera at the bottom, and that almost looks like I'm pretty certain it's got to be one inch, right? What do you reckon, E? It's got to be a oh, one inch I camera. Absolutely, that's a full one inch sensor. I'm looking at the image right now here on my phone, and you know what? I I'm happy that Huawei has gone back to its to its main roots with the P line, especially, you know, how they change things with the P20. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they've had a lot of setbacks in the last couple of years. They're back now with Harmony OS. And I think having a camera that can really just break things out of the mold, it may not sell as many devices, but it gets the attention right back to where they want it to be. Like, oh, mm. you guys are around. Okay, let's check it out. So L let's you know make what? a go statement. Big yeah, go big or go home. I mean, do you mean yeah. we've seen that with many companies. I, I think uh, the, the thing for me is this is what I always say, right? Whether you like Huawei as a company or not, the innovation they bring to the table pushes everybody forward, okay? And that's something that's uh, very important in my opinion because when you see this and then, you know, we see some of the competition, well, when they see that, like we've already seen Sharp kind of show the one-inch sensor as well. Uh, with yeah. their with their devices, uh, w which they're also partnering with Leica, by the way. So although Huawei uh -huh. are going to be pa partnering with Leica for the P50 series, this partnership is no longer exclusive. They're seeing other people now. <laughs> <laughs> so so it is uh, it is it is an open relationship now by the looks of it. So let's see. Uh, but I'm I'm definitely excited to see how it goes. I'm not sure about the design. It's just it, it is to me now. It's it is looking like overkill, but at the same time, I'm somebody who also wants really good cameras. So how else can they do that? So I think this is going to be the way that we're going to see. They're going to be taken. Oh. The back of your phone is going to be taken up by huge lenses. No, absolutely. And I think it's it's one of those things where honestly. Once the images come out and say, for instance, it just looks like a DSLR, and we all go, you know what, whatever, it's cool, Huawei, you did it. Um, you gave us what you were claiming to do. But we all have to wait and see how it actually turns out. So that's, yeah. that's the main thing. There is no set date yet because of the situation with Huawei. So we're going to have to wait and see when that comes. But I'd be, we'd be expecting it coming in the next few months. I hope you enjoyed that clip. If you want to hear the full podcast episode, then that will be linked down below. And if you want to see more clips like this, then be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss them. Thanks for watching. This is Saf on Super Saf Speaks. And I'll see you next time.